how to make peace in the Persian Gulf uh, is a huge challenge. It is hard, but it can be done. And we have to be optimistic and keep trying. I believe the first step is to acknowledge the differences. For sure, uh, there, there is rift differences between Shia and Sunni, between Arabs, uh, Persian, between different groups. But the differences uh, do not make it impossible to talk to each other, to accept each other. Uh, history teaches us that Arabs, Turks, Iranians, and Israelis have always shared this land we call the Middle East. They have lived side by side for thousands of years, and they will continue to live together. In my mind, it's like neighbors. You do not like everything about your neighbors, but you have to find a way to live together. And uh, one way to acknowledge each other and to accept the differences is to find what these four peoples have in common, to focus on what they have in common than what separates them. And especially this time with COVID-19, with economic uh, disaster because of the virus, it is very important to work together, improve the economies, generate jobs, and uh, especially also foreign powers, United States, European Union, Russia, and China. Uh, each foreign power has its own interest, its own agenda. People and, go and governments in the region have to take the lead in accepting each other and working together. We have a great model, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. This model should be modified to meet the unique characteristics of the Middle East. Uh, track two can help to build confidence between the four peoples and other minorities. But the first step is to accept each other and find a way to live together and focus on common interests, common aspirations. Thank you.